What's up everyone? Welcome to the grand finale of season 2 of Speedrunning SC2. I'm going to be making an extra long episode to end the season and I'm going to be experimenting with a new rule. Let's begin. Right, the first game of the day is going to be against White Idra, a Terran player. Now let's see what race we're going to get. We're going to be playing on Royal Blood LE and I'm going to be playing Zerg. That is a perfect start because what better way to start the grand finale than with a nice disgusting proxy hatchery, right? All right, here we go. Now... The rule I wanted to experiment with, I, I do want to remind you guys that speedrunning SC2 is usually, uh, how do I say it, is an infinite challenge. So there's no like specific MMR goal. Like obviously we'll make, you know, small goals in between and try to get 6k MMR or 5.5k or whatever we're at. But one rule that has been, I mean, I think the rules have been pretty good, but there's always a little bit of an aspect of losses being very unsatisfying sometimes especially when i am playing a very even game or even winning and then i have to pull the workers so i would ideally have something like i have to all in by six minutes unless i believe there's literally no chance it can work because there are some games where i'm forced to pull the workers at six minutes even though i know it literally can't work and then i just die for free right now this becomes pretty hard to manage because I mean technically I can just always tell you guys there's no chance to win right and uh, you know I could just go and play a macro game from there but I guess um, you guys will trust me and you guys know I'm pretty honest with my challenges so maybe that is the best way to do it. So I think I'm going to try experiment with this in this episode. If I always get to a limit 6 minutes that's obviously going to be pretty nice for us. Uh, if I don't then I'll try to transition and even in those cases I want to keep it a very cheesy challenge, so even in the cases where I don't think I can finish it in six minutes, I'm still going to try to win the game very early by doing a follow-up attack. It's not like I'm just going to be playing a fully-fledged macro game, you know? We're going to keep it very cheesy, but that's the plan. Let me know what you guys think. Now, even with the new rules, this show is going to be in a pretty big break after this. Could be like a month or a couple months, I don't know. Uh, could actually be longer than expected, but... At some point, we're going to bring it back for Season 3. And then hopefully, with the new rules, we can make the show even better. Because that's obviously always my goal. Now, I don't think we've been scouted here. I'm kind of surprised we have we didn't run into like an SCV scout or anything on my side of the map. Maybe, I think most likely, he just saw the hatchery and is now making a bunker on the high ground. If I had to guess, that's what's going on here. Oh, it's a Reaper, actually. Okay. Wait, did he maybe not scout at all? I mean, if making a Reaper is already not that great against this. There's not even space for a bunker anymore. I really wonder what my opponent's up to here. Like, this is not something I've seen before. Did he maybe not trust me when I said I was Zerg? Or I'm not 100% sure what's going on here. Did he cancel his command center, maybe? It looks like he's playing double gas. But playing double gas against Zerg is pretty weird. Uh, this is actually a very confusing one, I'm gonna lie. But oh, this one, I might have to rebuild it. Oh, it's so close. Let's see. Okay, I'm just gonna do it. Yeah, I don't want to be too crazy with it. Now I just build it here. Oh, it's making... Oh, it's Turax Reaper. Okay, I see. That explains. Maybe I can even catch this one with really good micro. It's not gonna happen. But I do have the Queen now, and that is really big. Now I can just walk the Queen up. Let's see. Can I dodge those? Oh, I actually got... I have one sword to get to his base. Look at that. Good scout. Oh, I don't... guess not, unfortunately. But I guess Turax Reaper, it... Could have been a pretty good build on this if we responded a bit sooner. Now, I don't really think it's going to be that great, to be honest. Two spines are going to be able to do fantastic against uh, a bunch of Reapers. Oh, I do really... Wait. Does the, did the spine actually reach that and did I unburrow for no reason? I thought there was no way the spine was going to reach. I do need to be careful here with these units. I do have something in my base. Ooh, a Reaper in my base. Okay. I mean, is this getting pretty interesting? I do still have to break the bunker to win this game, right? So it might not be uh, that easy. Let me see if I can kill the Marine barely not gonna get the marine oh why did he do that he's absolutely crazy i have so many zerglings he wanted to get a full surround on the bunker but that was an absolutely insane move to lower that and he just lost the game just by that i feel so bad i really wanted to see how this was gonna play out if he didn't lower that i get why he did it he thought look he doesn't have that much surface area. There's like three SCVs here, two SCVs here. He probably thought he needed to repair more. Five SCVs probably do out repair two spine crawlers. So he, you know, uh, opened this depot so he could surround it. But I have so many. He can even see the Zerglings. Why did he do this? I don't know why. Anyway, fantastic war up game. We can stick to the old rules, which is great. Let's go for the next one. All right, second game is against a 4.9k Zerg player called Serial. On Dragon, for some reason, for some reason, I thought it was the same map, but no, it's Dragon skills this time, and we're gonna be playing Zerg again. All right, now this is always a very tricky one because I feel like when I play random and get Zerg against a Zerg, they always play really safe. I always end up running into like 
a pool first or something that you don't really have to do to be safe in ZVZ, but I do it anyway. But then I don't really have a chance to win anymore. So that's very rough. I'm going to go for the 12 pool this time. I'm not going to go for the double proxy hatch. I'm going to go for a beautiful 12 pool. See what I can do. You know, I would really like maybe for like the next season or maybe just in this episode because I'm pretty crazy sometimes to just learn another cheese like right now because I would love how to do love to know how to do one of those like bailing all ins or like roach all ins or something like that you know I think it would be very very cool if I were actually able to pull one of those off so all right I think I did make my overlord a little bit late I'm not sure if it matters I think the, the larva regeneration might be a little bit too slow uh, I'm actually going to start my gas already here because I do want to follow this with, up with a link flood if possible. Now, I wonder in what case the new rules can actually protect me from things like this, you know? Like, if this guy really just pulled first and there's absolutely no chance to win, am I allowed to, like, on in later? Or is that, like, you know, too much abandoning of the rules? Like, honestly, I don't know. Let's get a... All right, should I... Queen or a hatchery first? I'm not 100% sure, actually. I feel like if I make the hatchery this late, it's going to be a little bit sus when I get scouted by an overlord. But otherwise, uh, the timings might just not quite work out. Like, if I get my hatchery first, I don't really have a lot of links for the follow-up, right? So I think this this sounds okay. I'm going to make 10 Zerg links, and then I'll make the hatchery. Probably not even going to make any more drones, to be honest. I think 12 drones sounds good enough to me. I know it sounds a little bit, uh, you know, of a crappy economy, but that's all right. Get the hatchery down here. Actually, it takes a pretty long time to mine that if you have no workers. Who would have thought? Now, let's see if we're going to go up against a hatch first or not. I didn't see any creep yet. And uh, well, once again, looks like we have been brutally blind countered by just a pool first. Or I, I don't even know what this is. Exactly what I was talking about. These Zergs, I'm not sure if they just don't trust random players or if they don't know how to defend stuff in ZVZ. You can defend everything with a with a hatch first like 100 percent, especially when the map is not like particularly small uh, like this one guess i'll rally these links over here i'll do one more inject and then i'm gonna start hunting the overlord with my queen let's see if i can actually catch it oh there's already a queen here maybe i can use the opportunity to kind of run by yeah i actually can't lose this overlord whatsoever if i lose this overlord the game is over as well i think maybe i should already make a new one just in case See, I can't really stop that. He's, he's not microing the queen. That is my saving grace right now. He didn't micro the queen forward on his creep. So if there was ever a chance, he's going to escape. No, it's still not. Wow, qu queens actually own overlords pretty hard. Like, I didn't know that even without micro, you kill it 100%. That's pretty crazy. I guess the more you know. Now, thank goodness I actually made that extra overlord. Else we would have been in a big amount of trouble, of course. Now, I still have one chance. Let's see. Let me trap the zergling. Actually, pretty nice trap over here. The micro is decent. Um, should I move out with this queen? Probably. Like, I have one more chance, and that's just to win with a massive link flood. That's literally it. So I'm going to kill this Zergling, and then I'm just going to go for it, I think. Oh, he sees my... I forgot about that. He's going to see my link speed finish. That is a little bit of a problem here. Let's see if there's something I can do. He's going to try to wall this off now. Let me just target that drone. There we go. That drone is going to fall. I should be able to block this wall off forever, actually. I'm just going to try blocking. He's trying to kill. Okay, we got the drone again. This is huge. Does he have another drone coming? I'm not quite sure. I'm just going to block it forever. Here we go. And now we're actually in. Oh, this is perfect. We're going to kill all the Zerglings already. And we're going to get this round of the Queen. He messed it up. He tried to get in the wall, but he didn't manage to. And this one has no transfuse. And there we go. Serial had all the tools in the world to defend. He had the blind counter. He had the wall. He had the read. But still, this build is so strong. And one slip up managed or made it so that we could go through. And this cheese is actually very strong, you know. I feel like I've won a lot of games with this, even when I wasn't supposed to. But that's fantastic. We're going to keep going at a fast tempo. So let's go to game number three. All right, game number three is against a Grand Master Terran on Royal Blood once again. Now, let's see what race we're going to be. Is it going to be a triple Zerg? It is going to be a triple Zerg. Wow. Now, I kind of feel like I have to do another cheese than the proxy hatch, right? Especially for the grand finale. I would love to get a very good amount of variety in here. So let's see. What could I do to ruin this guy's day? That is what's on my mind right now. Actually, wait, I'm going to go. Okay, guys, this is crazy. And it's also not going to work, but that's that's okay. You know, we get used to it. I'm going to do a classic Mark build, okay? I'm going to go for a 12 pool against Terran. And I'm going to tell him I'm Zerg, of course. Everyone will tell you 12 pool against Terran is an absolutely awful build. And they're probably right. But I have found one way to actually make 12 pools work. So what happens is... Um, if they go... F Actually, it, it is a very questionable playing random, by the way. I do have to add that. This is very questionable what I'm doing. But if they play a normal Reaper expand, even with an SEV scout, what happens is your Overlord sees the SEV going out in the middle of the map, right? 
then your links can simply... Your links are also going to be in the middle of the map. That's how the timings works out on a standard timing. Your links can just sidestep and dodge the SCV very easily. It doesn't even take a lot of extra time. And then you can kill their command center before their Reaper finishes. Like, they shouldn't even be able to stop you from killing their command center. And in itself, that doesn't make for the worst situation ever for the Terran. I feel like it's usually just like... Probably still decent for the Terran. Yeah, okay, this is what I was talking about. An extra early SCV scout. And that's going to make this a lot harder. Okay, yeah, I think that was either one or two... Wait, did he just... Oh, okay. I, I see what went on there. He didn't trust me. So he sent the SCV to confirm I was Zerg. He saw the Overlord. Okay, that is actually really funny what's happening. He saw the Overlord, then went back, and then realized, wait, I still want to scout on a normal timing, and then still send it to my base. Okay, that's pretty hilarious. Now, let's hope that he actually did go for a normal uh, Reaper expand, so I will be able to deny that command center. That's nice. Let's see. I dodged all of his SCVs. Is there commands on our place? Exactly. This is the timing I was talking about. And now we should be able to deny that command center. I do need to micro this, however. So let's try to micro these links as well as I can. I'm going to pull the low HP links to the outside. Okay, good micro so far. And there we go. We're going to be able to kill that command center. And he pulled SCVs as well, which makes that even better. And I think I should probably go for another gas here. Let's see. I'm going to I'm gonna go for a little bit of a crazy build. But I could probably split these links. I'm not sure how well it's going to work, but uh, if we can save a few of those, that's already pretty nice, I suppose. Maybe we can deny the command center again. Yeah, I'm going to make another queen, and then I'll go for a roach worm. There we go. Oh, we're going to be able to deny it again. Or best part about this all is if I get my two links here, um, he might not... Okay, this could actually, this, this actually be pretty huge. He might even... Oh, no, it's two marines already. Ah, okay, that sucks. I really thought it was just going to be one marine. Okay, so he sees the roach worm. I'm actually going to try... To, well, I, would, I was going to say I'm going to try to be smart about this. I'm really not sure if it's smart. But I'm going to try to switch it up and just go for a later attack instead. Maybe with like a Nidus or something. So I'm going to grab all of these guys off gas for a little bit. I'm going to try to get speed and try to get a better economy up. There we go. Maybe I should even start pretend pretending to creep spread. I'm not sure if that's like too much. Because I don't even creep spread normally. If you know who I am... That's actually funny. If you know who I am... And you watch my videos and you see me creep spread. That's probably even more suspicious than me not creep spreading. Because I, I don't really spread creep at all, to be honest. Like, it's not, it's not really my jam, you know. I know it's super good to do. It's absolutely the best thing to do with Zerg. But I just don't really do it for some reason. All right, let's get speed. I don't know how many workers I want. Okay, we have two queens. Oh, he's actually kind of getting surrounded here. Wait, where's the other queen? Okay, there we go. He's going to see the lair now, but that's okay. If he reads the signs correctly... And this is a very funny thing, because I'm saying correctly because I'm doing my build very wrong, right? If he reads the signs correctly, this looks more like two base mutilus than a nidus, because I had fully saturated gases over here. That's not what you need. Uh, well, actually, he didn't see that I canceled the roach warn. It, the, the layers of mind games here are getting pretty crazy, but all right. I'm going to make this an overseer. I'm not convinced yet that I want to go in. Let's see what he actually has at the front. So he has one bunker. That's full of marines. Did he make a reactor after that? Or I'm, I'm not I'm not 100 percent sure actually. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna start making some Zerknings now. I need one more overlord. I think I build it. Yeah, I did actually build it. Alright, and then let's get the Nidus over here. I'll build it in the middle of the bases just so I can get my queens in a little bit easier. I do think this is gonna be very hard to make happen, though, I have to admit. Mostly because, you know, he scouted the lair. Very good scouting by him. I do have to say that. Like the scouting by him has definitely been very good. Let's see. I still have no speed. I'm just trying to make him scared more than anything else. I'm even considering putting down a fake knight is in front of his base so I can knight his domain a little bit easier. Okay, there we go. He's going to see the knight is now. Let's see, maybe I should actually put it in the front, to be honest. Okay, so he has a banshee. Does the banshee have cloak? No, the banshee was going back to his base, looks like. So, I'm just going to put down the knight is over here. There we go. And then afterwards, I can always put it down um, in the main base still when he's distracted. That's going to be my plan here. Let's get a few of these out of gas because I really don't need that much uh, anymore. I'm going to rally all my units into the Nidus. And there we go. Oh, I do need to make some creep, actually. Okay, so he's trying to get a wall off up. Let's see if I can do anything against that. I'm also going to try to get a Nidus down in the main base now. Yeah, this trade is going to be pretty hard. Oh, he did make a, a freaking uh, cloak for the Banshee. That's kind of annoying. Going to have to be careful with that. Let's get these guys in here as well. And now we are going to be... Oh, we're actually going to be able to... He's going to let us go out in the main. So that's very nice. I don't know if he has, like, tanks or anything, though. So I guess we'll have to see if I can manage. Now, this is one of those situations where I can't really go all in at six minutes. Because if I pull my, you know, my drones into this, it would just be an absolute 
disaster. So I think I'm just going to keep going as we are doing right now. These queens on their own should be doing pretty good. And actually, I wanted to send those back, but that's a bad idea. Oh, we're transfused that. Okay, I need to keep these together. I need more and more queens, actually. The queens are what's going to be able to make this happen. Nothing else, just the queens. Oh, the Banshee. They're very vulnerable at this moment. There we go. Try to get some more damage on those. Need to spread the creep in his main base as well. Okay, can we get that Banshee? I need to be so careful. Oh, we actually did get it. I didn't think we got it, but we did. That is perfect. Okay, let's see. I got some more links here. Going to be able to kill another Banshee. There we go. Another Banshee goes down. We're still in the base with all these links. I don't have enough injects, actually. I should have probably just thrown an inject and then put the queens in the Nidus here. Okay, my queens are still doing fantastic. I'm really... So oh, wait. Is that a second factory? Does he have two factories here? Guys, that's pretty crazy, all right? How did he actually manage to get two factories out? Yeah, he does have two factories. Okay. Um, I feel like I might actually have to do a follow-up here. So I'm actually going to make two spores. And then I would like to go for two base mutas as a follow-up. I'm just using my, uh, you know, my new rule because I really don't think if I pull the work this year, I think I would just die, to be honest. Like, really, I think I would. So I'm just going to try to harass him with queens. And then eventually I'm going to go for, uh, you know, making a million mutalis basically. That's the plan. Oh, but I actually don't have the hold key for the AFK mode on that. So I'm going to be making some more drones and just going to show up with a million mutas. That's the plan. Obviously, I'm going to keep this very cheesy. Let's see how much damage can I do. Okay, so he's a tank there now. Queens are pretty good against tanks. I don't think they're really good enough, though, to be fair. Let's see, I'm going to hold position D. Okay, now he's going to go for it. I think it's time for the links to wrap around here. No, okay. Oh, that was a really good response by him already. Let's see, can I do anything here? I'm not quite sure. I think I'm just going to go for the tank. I'm not sure if I can actually kill it, but I'll, okay, I'll give it a shot. There we go. The tank should fall at some point, I hope. Okay, that tank goes down. That's really nice. Now, do I have enough? I mean, I have queens, and queens are very good against Hellions. I do feel like I might have to escape here, though. Okay, let's get out of here. Guess I'll just make a round more of drones. This Nidus has been held. Technically, he should be in a winning position, but to be honest, I, I don't know, guys, because I killed a lot of stuff, okay? His economy was denied forever. Maybe we can put some more creep. No, he did deny it. Well, I can actually put creep out here. That'd be pretty nice as well. And now my spire is finished. I didn't actually inject, so I don't have overlords, though. Now, should I go for a third base? I feel like that might be a little bit too much, you know, when it comes to transition. I feel like I kind of want to go for another Nidus or at least keep it, like, very, very silly, you know? Or not make anything else besides Mutas. Now, yeah, I have a few too many workers here. I'll send those back. And then I guess if I can hit him with, like, nine Mutas at once, that'd be pretty sick. So I have a Spore in each base. And here we go. The Mutas are on the way now, and that's what's going to be absolutely massive for us i'm just gonna patrol this one over actually i'm gonna send one across and keep one over here back and then i'll just try to kill him with these mutas i'm very glad i have this one creep tumor like i don't know i know it wasn't like a lot but like a scan for him is still money wasted right let's see should i go for i feel like i should go for more queens so i can actually hit a follow-up nidus at some point a queen mutalist nidus who doesn't want to see that now wait let's actually make a wall of queens here so he can't just run by in my natural this is a pretty nice wall off here i have to say there we go. He might try to go for a run by. I, I don't think he is going to, to be fair. Now, I want to make sure I actually get into his main base instead of running into his units here with this. All right, let's see how this goes. Now, I have to admit, I do feel like I'm completely freestyling, like, new rules and stuff, but that's okay. Uh, I feel like you guys aren't going to blame me for having a good time and, you know, not denying you guys the follow-up that you guys always wanted to see. I have to be very fast at killing Cyclones, by the way. Uh, mostly because Cyclones are actually good against Mutas now, but there you go. The two-base Muta follow-up to a Nidus is so ridiculous, but it looks like it's actually going to work out. He didn't expect it. He only started getting ready after he realized I had no third base, and now he's going to have to try and counter us with Widow Mines coming out of his factories he has one here let me just split these mutas a little bit oh, actually better to over split than i expected it would be not gonna lie okay let's make sure to kill this and then i'll kill this after as well actually oh he's trying to get through here we go the transfusions on the queens are going to prevent that let's see do i really need to do anything here he is making a battle cruiser which is pretty scary wait guys it's time it's time for the follow-up Nidus. There we go. The Nidus into the main base. That's exactly what we want to see. He doesn't have a battle cruiser now. Do I have enough mutas to kill that? I mean, I will as soon as the Nidus finishes. That's for sure. Oh, he's actually going to try to target the Nidus. That's going to give me a lot of damage for free. Okay, here we go. Let's get those out. Oh, I didn't put my queens in the Nidus. No, that is such a massive mistake. Actually, somehow, that kind of worked out for me because the battle cruiser is so low HP. That's actually funny. I forgot to put my queens in the Nidus, but the battle cruiser took so much damage just trying to repair uh, or trying to kill the Nidus. Right? That was actually funny that that worked out. I'm going to put another Nidus here. Here we go. Maybe I can still damage this battle cruiser decent amount. Like, he has two freaking... Oh, actually, I'm going to kill that tank because the tank is going to try... Oh, no, that's going to hurt. Okay, good enough. 
Let me kill these Hellions over here. And now my Queens are actually going to come out of the Nidus this time. The first one was a prank, but now they're actually here. Here we go. And that is so many freaking Queens, actually. Look how many Queens that is. That is infinite transfuses. Those Queens are just refusing to die. The Battacruz are also refusing to die. Wait, maybe I can bait the Winamines onto the SUVs. There we go. The... I don't even know how to call this. 11 minutes. This is obviously way different than any speedrunning you've seen. But we went for a really awesome 12 pool into scouted roaches, into a scouted nidus, into just queen harassment, into Muta with a queen nidus. I would say this is a fantastically successful game. A good example of the next season of speedrunning SC2. Let's go for game number four. All right, game number four, a four and nine barcode Protoss. Let's see. Oh, we got Terran. I was going to say, we're just going to be playing Zerg the entire episode now, but we are going to be playing Terran. Um, I'm going to tell him I'm Terran as well, uh, mostly because I'm, you know, better with Terran than the other races. So with Zerg, uh, once again, just, just to refresh your guys' minds, guys, with Zerg, when I tell them I race, it's usually just because it benefits me. Uh, it's like sometimes when you're Zerg, people scout later. Unless they're Protoss when they scout earlier, then you don't want them to tell you Zerg. But when I'm Terran, I just like telling my race because, you know, I'm pretty good with Terran. So it's definitely my best race. So, you know, I wanted to keep it as fair as possible. Now, what cheese am I going to be able to do on Neo Humanity against a Protoss? My, it's actually funny. My first instinct was to say planetary rush, but I guess, you know, we did already do that like a hundred plus times. So maybe it's time for something else. Now, what is it going to be, though? I feel like I'm in the mood for like some widow mine drops. Oh, he scouted me anyway. Yeah, okay. Well, then it doesn't matter, right? Actually, it does make sense. If you're a random player, and I'm not encouraging by this way, don't get me wrong, but if you're a random player and you play Zerg, you are in your best interest to lie to your opponent because if you... Uh, say you were Zerg, they're gonna pylon scout you. If you say you're a Terran, they won't, you know? So, like, here, he didn't trust me, so he scouted at his pylon anyway to confirm I wasn't actually Zerg. But I, you know, just this little moment here, just this little interaction made me realize that if you play random and you play Zerg against Protoss, you probably want to tell your opponent that you're a Terran so he doesn't scout ridiculously early. Or maybe you should tell him that you're Protoss. I guess that works as well. Now, people don't really usually trust randoms. What is funny, however, and I think you guys have noticed this as well, when I was doing this on the European server, my name was Don't Trust Me. And here my name is uh, uh, XX Evil Smurf or something like that. Uh, but on, when my name was Don't Trust Me, people would trust me way more often with my race. I feel like here, everyone always, you know, freaking checks to see what I'm up to and if I'm lying or not. But when I was called Don't Trust Me, they were like, oh, okay, thanks. And they wouldn't even scout anymore. Like, it was almost like they wouldn't even consider it. Now, I'm kind of thinking I'm going to go for a one base tank push here. I don't want to scout with this Reaper. I'm very happy he's giving me his probe for free, by the way. That's a pretty rough move. You always want to avoid that. A probe is a very useful scout. That probe can actually give you the game-winning intel. Like, those are things you don't usually want to risk. That probe basically just did 20 damage to this SCV uh, for giving up his entire scouting. So, obviously, not the greatest idea. So, make sure to avoid that. But for us, I still have to scout. This map is really hard to scout because you can wall it off with just one building. So, this is a pretty normal Nexus. I imagine that the depth is up this ramp. Not yet. Okay. Kind of surprising. Let's see. Can we see the tech? No tech yet. Wait. Did he send something across the map? Why, why is it so late? That, that unit is really not supposed to be that late. I'm, I'm getting suspicious now, guys. Why was the unit not finished yet? I even took a while at home to kill that worker, right? So, yeah, that should have been out a long time ago. Uh, maybe he just forgot to build it. Or maybe he didn't have the money because... Okay, he sent out another pro. Okay, there we go. You see, th this is why you don't want to lose your pro, guys. Now we have to send another one. I really think... His build is just messed up because of his super early probe scout and then sending out the second probe. I actually think that's the only reason why everything was so late. Uh, it sounds very small, but I actually think it was the case. Now, I'm going to do a slightly different version of my build. And I'm actually doing this off of a YouTube recommendation from like a year ago. So I always used to do this build. Uh, me and my friend... He's going to lose another pro. Oh my goodness. I haven't even tried to attack him yet. And he's already lost three probes. But we used to do this build where you just go for like a really weird 2 on one and try to kill them on one base. And then someone on my YouTube comments, when I made a guide about this, told me that I should try doing it with combat shields. Or, well, I think they told me with Stim, but combat shield is the better choice here. Uh, so I'm going to go for combat shield instead. Now I've already killed four workers without even going into this bit. This is actually pretty crazy. Let's see. Does, oh, actually, he didn't have it walled off. I forgot. I could have just jumped in all this time. All right, here we go. Let's see. The Hellion is going to be a really good distraction here. So we're going to be playing as Blink. Oh, he does have a battery. So I do have to dip. 
Are we going to be able to kill another probe here? Let's see. Is it worth it? It wasn't, but I did enjoy killing that worker anyway. So uh, there you go, guys. If you were trying to find my logic behind that, now you know I really just wanted to kill another worker, but it wasn't a great idea. So I'm going to be waiting for three siege tanks here. As I always say, three tanks is the magic number to beat uh, shield battery defenses. The tank is going to be a little bit later because I made combat shields first, but I am very curious that this is going to pull out or, or uh, pan out, I want to say. Because I think usually I would maybe hit, I want to say like 10 or 15 seconds earlier. And now I'm going to hit that later, but I will have combat shields. Is that worth it or not? Normally you would say, obviously that's worth it. But timing is pretty important, guys. Like that could be the difference between one extra warp and an immortal being out, for example. Right? So that's actually a pretty big deal. Now I'm surprised he, he seems like he wants to be aggressive. Though it was pretty clear that I was going to go for a one base. If you're always going for four gate... No, okay, it's a robot. Wait, is there a fourth gate? I would kind of like to know if there's a fourth gate. There's a robotics bay on the way now. Okay. Units are still at home. I'm actually happy to see that. Okay, let's see. Can I kill that fast? There we go. That's a really nice snipe. So, um, the fact that he's staying at home with Blink Stalkers is always good for me. Because with Blink, you can basically just kite my army for free forever and kill probably about eight Marines for free by the time I arrive to his base. Oh, okay, I see what he's going to do. I have to go around there. That, that's a good move by him, actually. I like that he did that. Um, I might have explained this in a video before, but on this map, you can kill these towers and they collapse in the middle. If your units are here, they actually all die to the rocks collapsing. So the fact that those are low HP means I, I actually have to go around. Like, I cannot risk, you know, obviously <laughs> losing my entire army to some rocks collapsing on my head. That'd be a little bit of a shame. Now, this game, I actually do believe I can kill him. So this game, I am going to go for the full-on SCV pool at six minutes. And, oh, he's let me walk all the way around. I think he's in trouble already. I don't think I even need the SCVs here anymore, guys. He actually let me walk all the way around. That is massive. Not even sure if we can break this anymore. Now, let's go with the boys. Here we go. Boys are on the way. His tanks or his units are still in the middle, which is very weird because I'm I'm doing a one base all in. Like, he needs to live. I killed his robo, which was like his only hope. I guess I'll just stay here for a little bit. I'm just going to walk into his base. I mean, if he's going to let me walk in here, why not? I have no idea why he's here, guys. His entire base is dead. And he's trying to counterattack. This is pretty crazy. Wait, he couldn't see that. Oh, my goodness. That was actually blocked out. Okay, I'm still going to try and attack him, though, because that's the build. And there we go. GG has been called. And this game, I knew we would be able to kill him. I didn't need the SUVs here, of course. And he, he, I kind of feel like he outplayed himself a little bit here, guys. Obviously, I saw these towers were red HP. He should have realized that I was not going to walk here seeing they were red HP. He didn't see me walk all the way to his base, which is pretty crazy, considering I felt like it was kind of obvious. Anyway, that's the fourth up in a row. The grand finale is doing fantastic. Let's go for game number five. All right, game number five is a rematch against White Israel. I think we played him on Royal Blood 2, right? I think it was the first game of the day. Let's see if it, if it gets Zerg again. That'd be kind of scary. All right, we got Terran this time. Um, let's see, what strategy do I want to do with Terran? It's always, well, obviously, guys, is it time for a proxy Thor? I mean, I really wanted to be like, okay, guys, my brain is working. What am I going to do? But then instantly it popped up in my head. It's time for a proxy Thor, guys. Let's freaking go. Or well, a flying Thor, I should say. Uh, am I gonna... That's not a wall-off, but I guess we'll get over it. At least my opponent is not Zerg or Protoss, so the wall-off is not gonna be, you know, exploited that much. But yeah, that's a little bit of a... A little bit of a mistake. Could be worse. If this was against Protoss, that would actually be a lot of a mistake. And the reason for that is that the Adepts were just like... Mm, sh uh, shade in all the time. And Adepts are freaking annoying if they get into your base, guys. Trust me on this. Now, I guess I'll just pretend that it's a wall. Uh, that's, the, that's the best thing I can do at this point. I... I'm just going to leave it as it is, okay? Maybe at some point I'll make a... Wait, can I even fit a third depot there? Oh, yeah, I think right here, right? Yeah, it looks like an awkward wall, actually, to finish. But I'm pretty sure I can fit a depot here. If I made one here... No, that would also wall it off. But eh, actually, it's fine. I'm, I'm, I was lying to you guys, sorry. It was an accident, though. I wasn't purposefully lying to you guys. All right, I'm going to saturate this gas. I'm going to send one SCV across. I kind of want to scout with this. I also just want to send it straight to the proxy location, though. That's the annoying part. I'm surprised we haven't been scouted yet because I didn't tell my race. I wonder in how far my opponent's using mind games against me already in the way that, like, when I was Zerg, I told him my race, and now I'm not. So does that mean I'm Terran or Protoss? That could actually be some pretty good logic, not gonna lie. That would, like, would be pretty solid. I think I'm just gonna go straight here. Uh, I didn't see an SCV, so I'm just gonna build a Thor over here. Uh, and I'm just gonna... Oh, I need to make an orbital. I'm just gonna fly unlimited Thors into his base until either of us dies, and that's the plan. Now, I really hope I'm not being Proxy Reaper or something here, because a Proxy Reaper would be pretty devastating, uh, considering I don't have my freaking factory in my base, right? So maybe I should actually check around my base. 
I was gonna make a reactor, but maybe it's smarter to just make another Reaper instead. This Reaper could compromise my builder driver, so it's a bit scary because that 50 gas is something I need. Keep in mind, I'm gonna make a reactor anyway, so this is quite literally 50 extra gas spent that I didn't really want to spend. Now, I'm not quite sure if I saw an SCP scouting me or not. I felt like I saw something on the map, but it was probably just me uh, hallucinating as per usual. Oh, there is something here. Wait, why is that so close? Why is th oh, it's Marines. Oh my goodness. Why are we getting proxied by Marie? I'm trying to proxy a Thor here. Okay, this is going to be scary, guys. I don't have my freaking uh, factory at home. Proxy Marine is not a great builder, I'll be honest, usually, but I don't have my factory at home, guys. I guess I'll just send these back. I'm actually going to make an armory anyway. I know I'm a psycho, but that that is kind of how I roll. So here we go. Let's see. I can pull my SUVs. How many Marines is this? It's six Marines so far. Okay, let's see. Gonna be able to pick up the Marines one by one. With good with good micro, I can actually kind of own him here, I think, still. Let's see. There we go. Oh, man. The micro here is, is pretty clean so far, though. Let's be honest. The micro here is looking clean. Yeah, I need to make a starport there. Okay, that SUV goes down. Is she gonna make another depot? How many barracks does he have? I don't even know, actually. Okay, I'm gonna send the heli in across. To drop a mule there. Maybe I can pick off that Marine. I kind of failed to do that, but that's okay. okay. I'm gonna keep trying to bait him with grenades. Okay, one more Marine falls. There we go. A little damage on that one. A little damage on both of those, actually. Okay, I think I have to pull the SUVs at this point. Just because there's a few too many Marines. He's gonna go for it. I hope he doesn't target the Reapers. If he doesn't, I'm gonna be able to get a good trade. Look at these grenades. The grenades are gonna be huge. There we go. Massive bounces on those Marines. Hellion is just gonna start fragging his main base. I'm actually gonna... I'm gonna start building a Thor in, in the middle of all of this. Call me insane because I am. But I am gonna try my best. The Hellion is dying, but that's okay. Should I make a medevac actually, or is that a little bit too crazy? I don't actually have the supply for it, unfortunately. I do have a lot of Reapers now. Let's see, how many can I pick off? Oh, I picked up all the Marines, I think. Let me do some micro. There we go. I think we've successfully defended this, guys. Don't ask me how, but I think we have. Well, building a Thor next to my opponent's base. There we go. I even lost the bunker. Wait, it's four barracks. Holy cow, dude. Thinking four barracks proxy going on. I mean, the best thing about all of this is that my Thor will kill all of his SCVs on its own. Like, I don't actually need anything else besides that Thor. Let me just catch some Marines, I guess, while I'm at it. Is he? He's going back home, guys. He's actually going back home. Okay, wait. Can can I catch him with my Thor? Imagine if my Thor catches his Marines on the way to his home. I don't. I I think it's too slow, right? Yeah, I think it's gonna be too slow. Let's see. His Marines might be here. Gotta be careful. Okay, so there's units coming into my base. I Ideally, I wait for the medevac here, actually. Okay, I'm gonna pull some SCVs that are slightly higher HP. There we go. I want. I don't want to lose anything here. SCV micro so far has been good. I pulled back all the weak ones. This one's gonna go back as well. And I think we have... Okay, we lost one SCV. That's all right. Okay, medevac is out. Let's drop that on some marines. He still made some. Yeah, actually, I knew he was hiding him here. Let's do some micro here. Okay, that's good. Splits are good. Can I save the last one? Last one is also saved. And we killed four marines for free. And now I'm gonna be going into his main base with my Thor. Uh, and just kill everything he has, basically. That's the plan. Here we go. The Thor has arrived. And he might just leave right here, guys. Because the Thor is pretty hard to stop. If you don't have any tech, there you go. Look at this Thor just going ham on everything right now. Isn't that beautiful, guys? No SUVs to repair. It's not necessary. The Thor does it. Beautiful defense. And the Thor on the counter deck. Another beautiful game. I'm very surprised we managed to defend the proxy forex with one barracks, by the way. And even while being supply rocked and stuff. Normally, I don't think it's a good build. But it's because you can make Hellions. You can make bunkers. I held it without the bunker. We just won barracks. That's actually... I'm pretty impressed with myself. I'm not going to lie. I was going to say it's impressive. That feels weird to say about my own game, but I am impressed with myself. For now, let's go to game number six. All right, game number six against Kamikaze. All right, we actually played Kamikaze recently on the stream. I remember, oh no, I played Proto against him that time too. And now we're going to play Protos again. Now, the worst thing is, guys... I already cheesed him with Protoss, so now he's definitely going to be wary. And I am going to cheese him again with Protoss, right? So what am I going to do? Now, first of all, I'm going to send a worker instantly. Uh, just because it's just so much fun. Like, you know, payback for what all the Protoss have done against my Terran for years. Just harassing my worker, building my barracks. This is just payback. I know it's not your fault. I know it's not Kamikaze's fault, but this is just... It's just something I have to do, you know. I have to get back at them. I have to get... Well, actually, I'm not getting back at anyone except for my own people. So probably not the best idea. But anyway, I'm going to do it because it's fun. Now, what am I going to do as a follow-up? I, I actually have no idea. I really don't know. Last time I proxied a Robo against him. Maybe this time I should go for a proxy Stargate. Or a proxy Nexus. Well, can I kill someone with a proxy Nexus really fast? I'm not quite sure. All right, here we go. 
The torture begins, guys. The SUV is being attacked. We are getting scouted already. I guess I'll just get my second gas instantly. Oh, no. This, wait, I'm going to kill the worker. Yes, there we go. All right, really good start here. Now, what sucks is he scouted my double gas instantly. Maybe I should turn this into a double fake. I know this sounds weird, but if he scouts a double gas, he knows I'm going to go for a one base attack. And I would probably be better off trying to pretend I'm expanding and then still do like some weird all-in later. That might be the best idea. Okay, so he's wasting time on the barracks. This probe has actually done a lot of damage, guys. And now I'm going to recharge shields. Very happy with how this has gone. Uh, I'm just going to saturate my gases a little bit. Nothing more than that. And then I'll probably chrono boost a bunch of adepts to his side of the map. I think that's a decent plan. Barracks is now finished because he made an orbital. He, oh, he's actually... Oh, he's going to wall me in. Okay. I'm not quite sure why. That would probably just, de de you know, delay his command center by a bit to actually afford that. But uh, I guess it's, <laughs> it's none of my business. So it uh, sucks for him, I suppose. And let's try to get some more jukes. Oh, we couldn't quite get the juke off. Did feel like I was playing a little bit of ping as well. Now I'm going to go for this strategy, guys. First of all, we're going to chrono adept across the map like crazy. That is step number one. And then... I'm going to try to go for something I did at the start of speedrunning SE2, which is basically cutting workers to make, you know, four gateways really fast uh, somewhere in the corner of the map, and then you just go for it with like a million units. That sounds like my plan right now. Now, wait, this is we still in the corner of my base. Ah, I should have checked first. Oh, no, I think I'm going to cancel this shade now. Because I, I feel like his SUV might still be here. I'm not 100% sure, but I thought... I didn't see it leave, so I have to check. I can't risk that. Yeah, so he's no longer there. But I don't regret checking. I really had to check or else I would just be in a lot of, a lot of trouble, I think. I'm going to go for two Adepts attack now. Or maybe I should wait for the Legendary 3. You guys know I do like my three Adept attacks if you guys have watched Proxy Nexus, right? Let's see. Now I'm going to start building a bunch of gates here. Probably go up to four. Don't need any more workers, actually. I'm just going to go up to four. I am kind of afraid that he scouts my base after... I leave with my adept. That's definitely a worry. So I'm going to chrono boost my gateway one more time. That is not the smartest chrono boost, but I just want to uh, be sneaky enough, you know. I'm going to chrono boost my warp gate one more time, and it should be decent, actually. Don't think it's going to be the biggest deal. Now, I could also wait for seven adepts. It's just I have no idea what he's doing, because he did go for a pretty fast wall-off, or a really fast wall-off, I have to say. Not the fastest possible, but still, it was quite fast. And I'm not quite sure if there's like a 1-1-1 one, one, one behind it or like a 3 racks or maybe not, not an expansion at all. All possibilities. Let's see if there's a bunker first of all. Oh, he doesn't have a bunker. Ooh, guys, the 3 Adepts. Is it time for the 3 Adepts to show up? There you go. This is what the 3 Adepts are good at, guys. Look at those one shots. This is where they rock. Here we go. I'm actually going to shade these away though so I don't lose the last couple. Here we go. I'm actually gonna... Yeah, I'm just gonna warp a bunch more Adepts, I think. Oh, where, wait, where did these come from? Oh, those were the same shades. Okay, I was like... Uh, did I just get a billion Adepts that I wasn't aware of? I'm actually gonna make something here. I'm not quite sure if I can finish him with this attack, though. Let's see. What does he have now? I killed three Marines already, or two Marines, which is pretty massive. Here we go. I'm gonna shade right on top of the Marines. Oh, this is a huge play. I thought he was maybe gonna use his SUVs, but instead, I actually managed to get on top of his Marines, and I killed the Marauder. Okay, I do need to get these shades out. Those shades, please get the hell out of there. There we go. And then I'm gonna warp some more Adepts. I'm not quite sure what I want to follow this up with. Oh, he also has a turret. He was afraid of DTs. I, I, I honestly, I respect that. That makes a lot of sense. DTs, if you play against someone like me, that is a unit you can't expect. Now, let's try to one-shot some more units here. See, I'm going to try to get everything I can get, you know? See, get one-shot that Marine. Okay, so now he has a lot of Marauders. Marauders are pretty decent against Stalkers, but only if you have a lot. Oh, he used a Stim. Okay, so he does have Stim already, too. That is pretty scary. This is getting very close, guys. Let's see if we can make this happen. I should be very happy that he made the turret, by the way, because the turret, even though it's a good idea... Uh, you know, it does mean that he made two Marines less, I guess you could say, or one Marauder less. I'm going to try to get as many units here as possible. Let's see if I can get one more shade in. Okay, he's probably going to just wall off his base and try to wait this out. He does have both Combat Shield and Stim. I think this is my time. I have to go right now. Here, we're going to go for it right now. He's not going to expect this many units, I think. Exactly. I need to make sure I target the Marauders with the Stalkers because they do bonus damage to armor. There we go. All the Marauders are dead, and I think with that, we can probably snowball this to a victory now. I don't need to keep warping units. There we go. He gives up, and wow. Okay. 
This one could have been scary, especially with the stim. I think it did a pretty good job microing, maybe. I could have actually had another gateway, I think. Well, actually, no, I couldn't. I think if you look at the money, I could have warped in four stalkers and that's it. Maybe I could have cut a little bit on the gas, but this was a fantastic Protoss cheese. I really thought this might be the one we're going to lose, but we did manage to make it in the end. And I'm still not finished. This is an ultra long episode. Let's go for game number seven. All right, game number seven against a 4-9 Protoss. I feel like we could have played against this guy before, right? I don't remember exactly, but I feel like we played a 4-9 Protoss barcode before, maybe like two or three games ago or something. I also remember one of them saying, good luck, good luck. So I guess this is probably the same guy. Now, what did I do against the Protoss? I did the 1-1-1 one, one, one on one base, right? I feel like I want to go for something a little bit more absurd this game. Um, so I'm going to go for that proxy mass Widowmine drop. Now, I do remember the Protoss that I played scouted with his pylon so we are going to get scouted super fast so i need a very good proxy location i don't know where it's going to be let's see i feel like this might be a little bit too obvious though it's also pretty far away like a proxy reaper would more likely be somewhere like here or maybe like here uh, I, th I think it's actually decent enough i'm gonna or maybe i should build it here to be really safe if you scout this here then i don't know what to say guys then you know we are just unlucky as we were in that proxy nexus grand finale i mean that never happened no one no one speak about the proxy nexus grand finale ever again okay definitely never happened so we are getting getting scouted early again let me make sure i block out this gas and then i'm gonna use another oh i need to make sure to actually block this here we go Oh, we might lose. Oh, we got stuck. Yes, we killed the SCV or the probe already. That's fantastic. Okay, I thought that was going to be scary. If he was perfect on the timing, he could have stolen my gas. Because when he attacked it, I didn't micro properly. And there was a little bit of distance between my SCV and the gas. And he could have taken it. If you guys don't know, that's how you stop people from stealing your gas. You just click your worker on the gas. You can probably hold position it as well. I didn't do it there because I'm a little bit of a silly goose. Uh, but that's okay. It all worked out just fine. Now, how am I going to do this build exactly? Probably should have gone for a gas first, honestly, because now I'm kind of confined to playing Marine, uh, else I can't really afford the factory at any decent time. So I'm going to make one Marine. That Marine is basically just going to be the guard of the whole setup. And what I mean with the guard is I don't mean it's going to be the Zealot. I mean, it's going to stop a probe from blocking me switching over my add-ons. That's what I mean, right? So uh, that Marine is going to stand guard forever. That's like the whole point of that Marine. And then I'm going to start making a million mind drops and hope I kill all of his workers and then... Maybe we can do something like build a Thor after or something that can actually kill his building. Keep in mind, I do actually have to win the game at some point. I can't just win it by being annoying. Though historically, I have won a lot of games by being annoying, to be fair. Like throughout all these challenges, throughout the thousands of games I've uploaded on my channel, I've definitely made people leave just by being annoying enough to them and killing all their workers. Like, that's definitely happened on more than one occasion. So maybe it is possible. Don't really want to rely on it, though, but that's all right. Wait, oh, dude, I was wondering, how does my barracks not... Hello? How is this... Okay, that that was... For some reason, I was, I was thinking it was bugged. I was really afraid it was getting bugged because I just couldn't land there. But no, I was just, once again, not being a silly goose, just an inaccurate goose, okay? We're just a whole family of geese, all with our own qualities. Oh, wait, I did... Actually, maybe it would have been nice for me to send back that marine to guard the wall. I mean, repairing this for an eternity is actually not going to be a big deal, to be honest. Like, it doesn't cost that much money to repair. Um, and if he's going to lose his workers for it, and if he's not going to scout this for it, then that's pretty worth it, right? I'm just going to send this one across. I think one SCP on auto repair might be enough. Now, it does get a little bit scary when the Adept comes out, of course. Or a Stalker. Oh, we have been found. Okay, really good scouting. We have to find this, by the way. Like, holy cow, that that is... That is not bad. He was very thorough in that. And you could tell he didn't scout me on action. You could tell he was actually kind of like shift clicking around. Oh, I baited him. Yes, he actually got baited by that wind of mine. Oh, that is brutal. Let's freaking go. And now we're just going to boost the cross. He has two gateways at the front. Okay, he's going to have a lot of units. Look like he might want to go for some kind of a counterattack on my base. What do I want to do, guys? I don't think I can fully kill him with these Widow Mines, but at the same time, is there anything else I can do? He's making a forge. Ah, he's going for the forge. Oh, he's not paying attention. I think one of those is going to shoot. Barely. Well, actually, decent shot. Let me just get those out of here. Uh, I'm actually going to burrow them back as well. Let's see. My wall probably... Oh, uh, there's still no units there. I thought the units would be here already. Did one of those not shoot? Oh, one of those didn't shoot, actually. Okay, check this out. It's going to be used. There's an Oracle in my base. Okay, this is gonna, actually going to go crazy. I think... It sounds insane. I think I actually have to make the Thor. Oh, I don't have enough money for the Thor, though. Can I really win this with just, like, mass Widow Mines? It just sounds a little bit absurd, you know? Can I win this just by making Widow Mines? I don't know, guys, but at this point, I have to. I'm even gonna... Let me uh, launch that depot so I can actually start a couple more Widow Mines. I'm just afraid that, like, the, um, the cannons are gonna stop me from killing every... He's on one base? 
How? Why? Oh my god, how did I not realize? Oh my god, this is actually a full-on silly goose game at this point. How did I not realize that at all? He's a freaking one base. Okay, now I put these Widow Mines here. He could actually recall, but if he tries to walk back up the ramp, he is going to lose the works. Okay, so he goes for the recall. I actually don't have much choice here, guys. I think I really have to go. Oh, wait, this could be massive. I think I have to actually have to go for the kill. Now, let's see. I'm going to attack him with these... Can I kill that cannon with my SCVs and two medevacs? That's what I'm wondering right now, guys. Okay, so I'm going to lose my command center. Um, I still have a couple of units building as well. Okay, this is getting so crazy right now. Let's try and get in here and actually kill that. Should I kill the pylon even? I probably should kill the pylon. Or should I just go for the freaking cannon straight away? I'm not sure. I still have a bunch of widow mines here. He doesn't have a recall, keep in mind. At least not for a while. Hey, I got my one marine. Let's go. God, this supply block is so freaking brutal, by the way. Like, I actually can't build anything. Okay, so I have five widow mines. And a bunch of SCVs. Six widow mines and a bunch of SCVs. Is it enough? To destroy everything he has. Oh, he actually, he didn't warp in here. I thought he would have warped in by now, but he didn't. Let me try to burrow these. All right, we're going to be able to kill his main base with this. It's fantastic. No, I don't think I'm going to let you splash my SCVs. That was a good attempt by him, I have to admit. But I'm not going to let that happen, of course. And now, he, he has pretty good detection because he has the Oracle. Dude, I have literally zero supply. I actually cannot make anything, by the way. I didn't even think that was a possibility, to be honest. You see, had 41 out of zero. I, I cannot make anything. I think I need to make one supply depot. Just so if I lose all of my stuff, those couple widow mines actually build. That's the entire plan. Now, I wish... Wait, these didn't fire, right? No, they didn't. I'm, I'm trying to look for a hidden expansion here. I feel like there might be a base. Keep in mind, I do need to eliminate him to win. So I quite literally need these SCVs to stay alive. Wait, he's not he's not revealed yet, though, right? now. yeah. So he did make a nexus. I would have to guess it's probably... Well, it could actually be here next to his Stargate. Let's see. I know he, he proxied his Stargate somewhere. I would have to guess the nexus is probably next to that. I'm kind of sad he didn't walk into that. It really looked like he would have at some point. Let's see. Where is the Nexus? Okay, Stargate is here. Nexus might be in the main as well. Let me actually check with these uh, bad boys over here. I don't know why these are here. I thought I clicked these away already, but all good. Wait, where is this stuff? Wait, did... oh my god. I'm... I'm... I just re... That was actually... My brain just blew up. Guys, I just realized how stupid I was being. You guys are probably laughing at me like crazy, okay? I just realized how stupid I was being. And then at the same time, he flew his Oracle in a widow mine that he revelated. Like, my brain literally just, like, froze for a second. Like, I didn't even understand what was going on anymore. Like, just, like, the pure stupidity of me not realizing that his Nexus is obviously there. <laughs> and then him losing his detection to my freaking widow mines. That is actually funny. All right, let's see. Now, he has... Wait, maybe I should... Okay, how am I going to do this, guys? I feel like I could kill everything, but those are two cannons building. I might have another chance to do this, though. Like, I keep in mind, guys, I have 200 minerals. I can make four more marines. Let's see. Okay, I'm just going to go for it. Here we go. I'm just going to drop a million widow mines everywhere. That's the plan. Okay, let's see what I can get here. Oh, I need to kill something. I think he has bested us, though, to be honest. Yeah, we have lost this game, guys. We tried our best. Maybe I can block his probes while they die to the widow mines. That would be a plan. Let's see, can we get some more fat shots? Okay, that's just pretty big. Doesn't look like it's gonna do it though. And we have been defeated here. All right, there we go. GG, well played. And this game, uh, realistically, I think it should have been a draw, right? Because I, I like to, I like to think that I would have won, but I think it would have been a draw because I I'm not sure if I could have like left this. I also, I'm, I'm really sad he dodged these widow mines, by the way. I'm really trying to think right now. I don't want to think about it too long. But I'm not sure if I could have just stayed here because he could have had another Nexus. I guess the perfect play would be for me to use two SCVs to scout for a Nexus. Like, he's very close to building one here, for example, right? Is to stay here, scout for a Nexus, and then kind of force the draw. Like, I don't think I could have won this game because I need to kill these buildings, but I think it should have been a draw if I played perfectly. Maybe if he used the Oracle and the Stalkers perfectly, he should have been a win for him anyway. I feel like if this is against a really good Protoss, it should have been a win for him, but here I could have forced a draw for now. That's our first loss of the day, and I'm going to be playing one more game to end speedrunning SE2. Let's do it. All right, here we go. The final game is against Kamikaze again, the Grandmaster Terra, and we cheese with Protoss, and we got Zerg. All right. I think it's time to end it with the cheese that started it all, guys. The Spine Rush, we did it in episode... Or no, we did it in game number one of this episode. Or was it game number two? I think it was game number one. And now we are going to be doing it again. Let's see if we can do it. One of my absolute favorite cheeses. Don't think we did it against him, right? Pretty sure that was someone else. He's going to send his drone straight across. And I actually, I feel like a sense of anticipation right now. You know, like a sense of nerves. It's... Uh, 
For some reason, I really want to make this one work. I want to end it with a bang and start season three on a really high note when we do start it, of course. Uh, I might do some polls about that, actually. See what you guys think and whatnot. Obviously, I would always appreciate your feedback and the comments and whatnot. So uh, I guess by then we'll have, you know, enough tools to make a decision. Now the hatchery is going to go down. Kamikaze, can you defend our strongest rush so far? He lost twice against our Protoss cheeses. And I would say, well, Protoss cheese is honestly freaking strong. But still, my proxy hatch... Fine rush might be the strongest of them all. I really think. I st I'm still convinced. I know I've lost with this build a couple times, especially when I did it on stream. I lost against, you know, players that were like semi pros and stuff. But I still think you can make this happen against a pro. Like, I really think this build's pretty good. I freaking love this strategy. For some reason, on this map, by the way, I'm not sure if this is just me that has this problem. Because of like the color of like the sand, I guess. I keep, I keep thinking I see, like, an SUV on the map. Like, I keep feeling like I see a red, a, uh, you know, red color SUV kind of coming to my base. And I'm not sure if that's just me or if it's actually a problem with the map, but it's very scary. Maybe if I play this map, I should change the color to something else, like pink. So, you know, I can't be uh, accidentally mining in by myself. That sounds nice. Oh, I needed to keep the overload in the middle, actually, so I could have seen this SUV. That's a little bit of a mistake by me. Nothing too bad, though. I feel like even if he sees the drones, I'm pretty confident I can still make this build work. I mean, at this point, my my uh, things are already close enough. Probably should have sent this second Overlord too, though, just in case like I lose my first one or something happens that I didn't expect. Now, let's see. Gonna start the Queen first. Oh, he made a Reaper. Oh, and a Bunker. All right, so we're gonna go for the Bunker hold. These are usually the most difficult to deal with. Uh, well, maybe not win rate rise but like play you know for me as like how hard it is to deal with i think these are most difficult oh he went for reaper reactor that is very greedy i want where did the reaper go did he send it to my base guys did he really just abandon this post i'm i'm not quite sure he's gonna hold this guys unless he has a factory building there already i'm not convinced he's gonna hold this anymore the reaper is now coming back but it's quite late already my spines are already on the way he's not gonna be able to cancel those he's pulling the SUVs too late i'm not gonna lie guys this kind of looks like a disaster for me i don't think this is a good choice by him at all so far a couple of mistakes have been made and i'm sorry to say it Honestly, I'm rooting for him because I beat him twice already. I know I really want to win, but I wanted to put up a really good fight there. His second bunker, really good choice there. Okay, there we go. That is the kind of moves that you have to make. Second bunker. I think he really has to get out of there, though. He can't stay here. He's going to lose all of those Marines right now, guys. He had to leave a little bit earlier, and there we go. That bunker is surrounded. And now we're going to put the Queens in range. Obviously, he's going to save the Reaper. Maybe he's not paying attention. I can kill him. No, there we go. But he is going to lose those couple Marines. Second bunker, though, like I said, actually a fantastic move. He's going to be able to hold this for a while longer he does kill the creep tumor which is actually uh, kind of a fortune that's a mistake by me for sure shouldn't have put that down so easily and he gets the overlord okay did he get it in time though that's the question because now i'm gonna kill that scv so he can't revolve it and now my spines are gonna go up in the main base and my second overlord is here let's see those are both i hope in range of the bunker I'm not 100 convinced but they should be and now i'm just gonna go for this he's making another bunker three ranks is a really good decision okay when it comes to the build he made fantastic decisions but now his marines are gone i baited him back into the mineral line and now i'm gonna be able to kill the most important bunker here trying to not lose my links to the SUVs over there. I do only have one spine left. I think this is actually pretty close. I would love to have another spine here. All right, I'm just going to get in here. Let's see if I can kill those Marines. Okay, a little bit of a misclick by me, look like. And he has all the Marines, guys. I think he might be defending this. I mean, I would love to have won this game, but I'm pretty proud of him in the same way as well. Okay, let's see. Can I do anything more? I still have links running in as well. Let's see. He needs to be careful. I think I might actually do an inject here. I'm going to go with an inject, and then I'm going to go back up with these Queens. Okay, he's going to try to go for the Overlord. This Overlord don't care. I actually, I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty sure I made a couple Overlords on accident because I don't know why I have 52. Normally, I struggle to have even a normal amount of supply, but somehow I hear 52 supply, so that's not quite right. Yes, Stim finished. He gets the Queen, but I get the Surround. Really good Surround there, actually. He's going to lose all of the Marines. Oh my God, what just has happened? I thought the Stim was fantastic because he killed the Queen, but instead he gets surrounded, and now I'm in his base with a lot of links, and he doesn't have a reactor. He can't make that many Marines at once. If I kill every marine if i camp his barracks that's a really good micro there by the way i have to say but now i'm just into the base i think he might have messed this up let me surround this marine i think i'm gonna be able to get it there we go that marine goes down the next marine goes down as well and the third marine and now i'm on top of the scvs i got my queen finishing at home so i can in
inject. I'm gonna make another queen here. And Kamikaze, it started off rough after the beginning. He made so many good decisions. Also, the second bunker, the wall off, the three racks, the micro, it was all really good, but I did manage to get it done because he stimmed on that queen. That was the game losing mistake. And that's it, guys. Speed running SC2 season two has ended. A super long episode. I think we played like eight or nine games. Hope you guys really enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments if you think. Let me know if you want season three to come back or speed running season SC2 to come back in season three. And for now, hope you guys really, really enjoyed this episode. I gave it my all. I've been recording for one hour and 20 minutes plus the breaks, of course. Hope you guys had a fantastic time. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all for the next video. Adios.